Okay, cool. The record, the recording has started. So uh, we share my screen, and then we can start the wonderful tutorial. Can you see my screen? This guy, communicate with me. I want you no, to interact with me. Okay? You can interact with me easily. Is it's that good now? Busy. Is it visible now? Yeah, visible now. Okay, all right. So, <clears throat> for uh, before starting, we, uh, if anyone has a, a question, uh, you guys can open your microphone and talk to me so that I can I can know that yeah somebody has something to say. Okay, and uh, you can also sometimes use some reaction when I'm ask when I ask something that needs to to react. So if you we are the same alignment, then I can continue. Okay. The tutorial of this afternoon, uh, the second tutorial is titled using AI for marketing content okay so you want to you want to use ai and not code tools to generate marketing content so um my, my internet is yeah okay so in introduction uh briefly we want to use the power of ai and the node code tools to streamline marketing content to be able to create marketing content uh, in the easy way and the fast way. And the final objective of this tutorial is to give you the knowledge to be able to use those tools effectively in your company because you are called to work in a company and having those kind of skills will help you. All right. So let us understand what AI and not code tools mean. So, uh, first of all, artificial intelligence, it is a field of computer science. And that field focus on building intelligent system that can behave like a human being. And when I say behave like a human being, I want to I, I want to say that we want the intelligence system to think, to talk, and to 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 do everything human beings are able to do when it's coming to the cognitive parts. So this is the reason why scientists, uh, computer scientists, created that field in computer science. So in common language, we used to call an AI system AI. But uh, if you want to be professional, AI, it is a field in the field of computer science. Now, what do we call by generative AI? A generative AI, it is a type of artificial intelligence system that creates a new content. Here, we want to create a new content. This content didn't exist before, but we want to create a new one. And this generative AI is able to include text, images, music, and even videos. And this model are trained on vast amount of data to learn how to generate new data, uh, that is similar to the input it have received. So we give an input to the 
generative AI, and based on the input it receives, it will generate another new content that are similar to the inputs. So this is what we call generative AI. And here you have some example of generative AI. Uh, I know you guys have heard about chat GPT, Gemini, Copilot, Notebook, LLM. Those are some example of generative AI. Now, what does load code tool mean? When you, you talk about low code, low code tool, we want to mention some platform that help people to build some application without having any programming skills. So, you know, for instance, if you want to build a website, you need to have some, some programming skills. You need to know how to write code in HTML is a language. You need to, if for instance, you want to uh, build a social media, you need to have some programming skills as well. JavaScript and uh, PH, PHP and so on, so forth. So in this scenario, there are, there are some platforms that, uh, that are allowing us to create a website, automated workflow without any code. So we don't need to have those experience in coding before building those kind of application. So whenever you have this kind of tools, know that this tool uh, can be called a no code tool. Like uh, they say, the name is saying no code. So we don't need to, to write any code here. So we have some example. And the first example we have here, it's called Wix. This is used to, to build a website in general. We have also a notion. Uh, a notion is used for personal organization, uh, it project management, task tracking, even writing a website. It is very versatile, no, notion book. So it is often used in, uh, in organization, by project manage managers, and it is very a good tool to 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 know how to use to master basically. We have also canvas, a Canva. Canva here, uh, it is used for creating visual content like uh, images, a video, posts, even a website. Okay, so uh, this what. Basically, we can say about uh, AI and not code tools. You need to understand them before going further. So uh, I want to see if we are in the same page, if everybody uh, is uh, the same alignment. So uh, where are you guys? Uh, I'm looking for you like that. I'm not seeing you. Sorry. Um, so can I continue, guys? OK, fine. Let me continue. If you have a question, just raise your microphone and say your word. If the the pace is okay for you, just let me know. If it's not, just let me know. But I, I assume that the pace is good for you. So we can continue. After knowing what AI and node code tools mean, let us understand the reason why we want to use them. So the first reason we want to use them is because of the efficiency, okay? We want to be efficient when we are working in our company, in our daily routine. So we want to, we want to save time. By saving time, we can go for AI because AI can generate for us a new content. 
We can use also node code tools, which does not require any programming skills. So we can create many things using those tools. Okay, so that this is the, the, the first thing you want to, uh, the, the first reason why you want to use AI and node code tools for their efficiency. And also, you know, sometimes when you are in your enterprise and there is a, a new a new product or a new project and you want to work on this new project, sometimes you are called for brainstorming. And during a brainstorming session, people need to think and to give their point of view, their ideas. So we can use AI in this case to save time also to provide us the first draft. And when the, the AI provides us the first draft, then we can now use our time to, to think about how we can push, how we can make it this uh, draft better. So it's helping us to save time. The second reason why we want to use AI and node code tools is because of cost effective. You know, when you are in enterprise and you need a specialized skill, for sure, you, you will go and you will hire an expert in that domain. And often, it is a, you will pay him with a lot of money. It, it, will, it will cost you a lot of money. So this person will be expensive for you. Like a developer, AI engineer, for instance, AI developer, you know, those, those people, they have a specialized skills. And if you need the services, then they will cost you a lot of money. Now, because we are in AI revolution, and AI is a revolution, a revolutionizer, everything, we can use some free AI today to bypass this uh, cost of money. So then we can also use, uh, uh, it is the same for load codes, Tools. When you have a node code tool like a WIS or Canvas, you don't need to pay anybody before using them. You can use them easily and they are easy to use. Okay. Now, uh, the other reason why we want to use AI and node code is uh, for innovation. When you are using them, it helps people to bring with a unique idea to life, basically. So we is not something, okay, if somebody says this, it will be fixed, or if you use AI, it will be fixed. No, we can, many people can, can come up with his, uh, their unique ideas, and it helps to, to encourage the creativity and the diversity in the tech solutions. The fourth reason is their flexibility. You know, with those tools, you can make a lot of change without the need to write complex code. You don't write code when it is come to no code tools. So for change, to change something we did before, it is easy to come back and do it easily without worrying about something we will miss you know, because when you are coding and you miss something in your code, your code can start bugging. So here you have this flexibility to not to come and make some changes without worrying if the code, if the application we are building will, will bug. Here also we have uh, the sense of collaboration. Those tools help us to collaborate easily. So we can work on the same project using, for instance, a Notion or Canvas, and many people can be using at the same time. So we can collaborate easily. So those are the reasons why we can, we want to use AI and node for tools. Now, how can we, user generative AI. 
how to use it. So the first thing you, we need to understand is uh, the the figure that is below here. We you can see that we have a prompt, which is a, an input. We have a large language model. We have an output, and we have generated tests. Okay. So here, the large language model is what we will call generative AI. I mean, uh, is I mean when I say generative as I defined it earlier, a it's it is a type of AI that use that use uh a com that, that that create a new content when you give it you give it uh, a an input or what would you call it here a prompt but the generative ai used in the background what we call large language yeah so this large this large language models is like a, a black box that uses deep learning techniques based on a statistic model to generate a desired output of an uh, from an input okay so the prompt let us understand that the prompt it is a, a data, a data or a set of the instruction that we give to the LLM. Okay, it might be a question or a statement. Okay, so when we give that to the LLM, the LLM will work and figure out the pattern, the uh, I mean, the goal of the input, and then it will generate us a new content. It might be a question, it might be an answer for a question, it might be a translation, it might be a summarization or a, a content generated, something like that. Okay. So, this is, what, this is how we can use a generative AI. And here, let us see a demo, or let us see an example. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, we are here is a chat GPT platform, which is a generative AI powered by uh, GPT, what we call generative pre-train transformers. Okay, so here you can you can. Uh, Use a simple prompt. You can say, "Hello, I would like." Okay, uh, please generate. Please generate. Uh, a test. generate a speech a speech a speech to introduce to, to introduce um, to welcome to welcome a new a newcomer a newcomer trainer Training, yeah. So, in one paragraph, you know, in, in one para paragraph. So, as you can see, we we give a prompt, we give an uh, an instruction to the to the generative AI. We ask him to generate for us a speech. To welcome a newcomer, and this is what he has generated to us. Welcome to the team. We are thrilled to have you on the board and excited about the fresh perspective and energy you will bring to our pro projects. It is a great opportunity to learn, grow, and contribute. And we are here to support you every step of the way. Don't hesitate to ask questions, share your ideas. And get involved. We look forward to collaborating with you and watching.
the journey onward. Together, we will achieve greatness. So this is uh, uh, a, an input from uh, from the generative AI chat GPT after giving to to it this uh, prompt. Okay. Now let, let's go. Uh, are you following? Is the pace good for you? Uh, we, we need to make it interactive. I shouldn't be the only one speaking and uh, you will just be there. So we are here to, to learn together, okay? Yeah, so I want some reaction for you if the piece is good for you. Hello guys, are you are you there? We are here. Continue. Okay, good. So, after knowing how you can use a generative AI, and have seen an example, uh, <clears throat> here is a, another example we use with the Gemini. Gemini it is a, another type of LLMs and also a generative AI. Okay. So we gave to Gemini this from create an Instagram post title view. Ultimate gave to using a smart sorry using a, sm a smart watch for marathon training, include tips and tracking middle age of heart rate and recovery. And here is the output from Gemini. So Gemini is able to create an Instagram post to us. Okay. And with the emojis, you know, open on social media, we use the emoji to express our our feeling, our opinion, our test. So exactly generative AI is able to do that because it is an AI, an AI is is a intelligent system that think like human being you see so and it is it is also smart to provide us some hashtag because on social media we use hashtag to to spread uh to to spread what we want to to advertise maybe okay and the whole world so how we do it so the generative AI is able to do that also. Now, uh, after seeing some example of how we can use generative AI, let us understand marketing content on Instagram, for instance. So, the first thing is, is to understand, first of all, what marketing content means. We're talking about marketing content is the content that we want to use to communicate to our audience, to promote, to advertise a product, a service, or even a brand. So we can use many formats to be able to do that. And in our case, we want to focus on uh, a post on Instagram, okay? Because this is what is related to your challenges, your, your challenge of this week. The format we can use to create a marketing content, we can use a written content, like uh, what we have seen earlier here. For instance, here it is a written content. So we can, it, it might be a blog post, it might be an article, it might be a website copy, product, social media caption, email, uh, newsletter, so on and so forth. But in our case, as I said, the challenge document is asking us to create a post on Instagram. So we will be focusing on that one. We can use also a visual content, maybe images, uh, infographics, videos, presentation, etc. It might be also an audio content, a podcast, or audio, a voice, you know, something that you, 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 you use by recording your voice, 
to advertise your product, to communicate your product to your to your audience. And I do believe that you guys understand the relationship between uh, the product and uh, the the target audience, because when you want to 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 do a marketing content, for sure you have already identified your audience, uh, the needs of the of that audience, or uh, what, what what is the gap, what is the, the that thing you want to to address as problem by doing a, what we call a research market, and a research market is a uh, is that process we use to collect data and uh, analyze data from our audience? So I'm giving you a briefly what market, uh, what market, how to say market means. Okay. So now we can also use the interactive content. It might be a quiz, it might be calculator games, and we will use to 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 create our marketing content, you know, by using a quiz, you, you interact with uh, the, your audience and you, you, might, you might ask some little question. Uh, if, for instance, the, the, if your people knows about this uh, smart watch, this functionality of this smart watch, and if not, you will provide him or you provide them the correct answer, which is related to what you want to advertise. Okay, so you may use also uh, some games to do that. Here is an example of an Instagram post. Okay, so for this Instagram post, uh, we use this prompt. You want to create a social media campaign, especially an Instagram post. Highlighting the smartwatch capabilities with the popular fitness app and smart home devices. And this is the output from the generative AI. Okay. And this in this case, I, I think we use a Gemini okay to, to have this output. And the output, as you can see, he said, your smartwatch, your world, it provides a, an emoji that's related to words and say, seamless, seamlessly connect your digital strap smartwatch with your favorite fitness apps and smart home devices. Track your workout, control your home and stay connected all from your Wrist, you see. So, when the the customer see that the, that post, it may be interested in, in your project for sure, because you you telling him that how how he can control a lot of things in his house and everything is connected. Every device in his house is connected and he can manage everything just with a, a watch on his wrist. He might be really interested in that product. So uh, and AI can help us to create this kind of Instagram post. And as you can see, it, it is even provide, it is even give the, uh, I wanted to highlight the fact that it, it say the, says the name of the company and also <clears throat> put the name of the company in hashtag so that many people can know about the company and its services so it is very important to understand our market so when we want to design a really good marketing content we need to understand our market. We need to understand, we need to know, first of all, the name of the company and our audience, as I was saying earlier. So we need to identify in our case here, the type of audience we have. We may have some people who are 
fitness enthusiasts, uh, which means that those people, everything that is related to the health of their physical body, uh, the the men, the mental, they will be, they will be really excited to do that. So we call them fitness enthusiasts, and those people. Your target might be those people who want to use, who who like also who likes using a smart watch because they know that smart watch will help us to to control or to monitor their physical activities and their health. At the same time, we have another category of of audience. It might be tech savvy individual. Those are the one who enjoys the latest gadget and wearable technology. So there are a group of people when they hear about a new a, a new gadget in technology, they want to buy it. They want to have it. They want they want to be um let us say the first who are using technology. This is the this is what drop them. So we have this category of people. There is another type of people from our audience, which are the professionals. Those people, they use the, they might use the device to stay connected and organized because you know that a watch, first of all, the first uh, function, the first feature of a watch is to, to help us to, to know how to organize our time, how to deal with the time. And now when it is a smart watch, it will help us to, to do a lot of things, to be connected uh, to maybe our emails. When we, when we receive an, an email, we, we, it will be noticed, we will have a notification. And when there is a, there is a, uh, a meeting, we can schedule a meeting, and then it will give us a notification, something like that. Okay. Those group of people are professionals. So we need to understand our target. It is very important because understanding our target will help us to know how we will provide, how we will write our prompts. Because the prompt is very important because of uh, the, 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 the way you, you design your prompt, make sure that the out, output will be related to that point. And I believe that yesterday you have seen from the, the tutorial in, the, in how to use Copilot and AI, how to use prompts in the best way. Okay, so it is very important to know the target audience in order to provide a good prompt. We have also, we need to understand also the competitors. Yeah, of course. We need to know the weaknesses of our competitors. We need to know also their strength. Based on that, we will direct our prompt to say, okay, uh, maybe we know the weakness, the weaknesses of our competitors. Then in in the post we want to advertise, we will provide some solution that we we develop. Or some approach of solution we are we are, we are going to to develop that our competitors do not have at all. So it is very important to understand our competitors' strength and weaknesses. And the 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 last thing we need to know is to keep up with the, the latest smartwatch trends. We need to know how the market is going. Okay, so first of all, we, uh, uh, for instance, we need to know uh, in the trend of health monitoring features. Uh, we need to know also how we, uh, how they are they are integrated in the devices. Okay, so it is very important to know what the trend of the latest smart watch is on the market. So now that we, we know, we have understand also the market, let us now 
see how you can use uh, AI to generate content. Now, uh, so the first thing you need to know here is the, the content idea. We want to generate ideas based on our target audience. You see that it is very important to know the to know the target audience. Otherwise, you will you won't do anything. You will waste our time. So when you understand our target audience and the product feature and the market trend, it will be easier for us to generate ideas based on them. And here are some are some ideas. Okay, so best math watch for runners and uh, you know runners it is uh, from which category let me uh, let me see if you are guys are following me from which category are runners hello guys from which category the runners are let me show you and then somebody will will, will say it uh, so we are here we have seen three categories of audience so when we, we talk about runners yeah here is it yeah you have the plot you can speak Yeah, Kerezi, you can speak. Uh, okay. No. I can't hear you. Sorry, what's the question again? Okay, the question is, in which category uh, belong uh, a run, a, some runners? Here are the categories, okay, of our audience. So we have fitness enthusiasts, we have a tech say, a savvy individual, we have professionals. And based on our audience, we want to create a specific prompt. So, and here, the first example we are seeing, uh, like a, a content idea is best smart, a smart watch for runners. My question is to know runners in which category they belong to. So those are the categories. So no one is following me. Yeah, Nina. Yeah, Nina, we can speak. Maybe you are speaking and you are muted. So open your microphone and speak. Classes, are you there? Okay, good. Uh, Nina has answered the question. She said that they belong to fitness enthusiasts. Yeah, thank you, Nina, for your collaboration, for your interaction. I really appreciate it. Okay, I guess that you can't talk. Okay, good. So, yeah, let's continue. <clears throat> So you can see that <clears throat> just wait a little bit. Okay, good. Um, so here, for instance, um, you have another idea, the second idea how to use your smart watch for better sleep also it is a 
the first category, okay? So knowing our category, our audience, knowing our product, uh, the functionality of our product, we can create some ideas and those ideas we will use in our prompt to create a marketing content, okay? So, for instance, see how you, you do it here. When you want to create a content using AI, for instance, you want to use the first idea, the best smart watches for runners. So we, the prompt we are going to use, we said to create an Instagram post highlighting the best smart watches for runners. Is what is the way we, we created the prompt. So by, by, by using the word create an Instagram post, the generative AI, the LLM will know that he's going to create this type of post. Like it, it should look like in an Instagram, okay? And then if you know that he, he, he will highlight the best smartphone for runners. So here, uh, I provide here an, an example. So we can click on the link and see what. Uh, Let me see that I can copy the. No, I cannot copy from here. Anyway, so uh, let, let us continue. Uh, Okay, we are here. So, and we want to to use that prompt to see what the generative AI uh, would create as a a content for us. So, Okay, good. Let, let us copy the the prompt, and then we will provide it to to the LLM. So here I'm use I will go to use a uh, copilot. I provide to copilot this prompt, and then it will provide us a content that we will use to market for marketing our product. So it, it talks about better smart watches for runners, uh, Garmin uh, for runners, and Apple Watch. So we provide a lot of things here. So it is based on us, uh, what we want, we will see if the, the prompt is good for us or if we, it, is, it is okay to redefine, uh, to personalize the prompt. You know, when whenever you are using AI, when you generate the content from AI, you don't use bluntly the content. You need to revise to see if is what we are asking the AI, it is what it has provided us. You need to measure, you need to do this analysis analysis it is very important so uh, let's continue with uh, the second one yeah the second one is to create a blog post explaining how to use 
our smart watch for better sleep. Okay. So uh I don't know what we can use. We still need to co-pilot. You know, sometimes <clears throat> when you provide a prompt to an LLM, the LLM does not provide you all the time the same output. Okay. So, for instance, when I was doing, I was using this first uh, prompt, this is the, the output that I got. Okay. How to use your smart. Watch for better sleep. Hey, Junior, your smart watch isn't just for tracking your step. Unlock the secret to better sleep. Here's how. Then he explained how it will help us to, to help him to have a better sleep. Sleep tracking, bedtime reminder. So it will remind, for instance, the, the user when it will go to bed, a smart alarm, relaxation tool, and screen time management. So a lot of features that will help the user to have a better sleep with his smart work, with his smart work. Okay. So uh, I'm bringing this thing because uh, when we try to see what uh, to use the same the same problem with the generative, uh, with the copilot earlier, it provides something different, totally different. That's why I'm saying we need to know that we need to understand that the same prompt you are providing to an LLM, it might generate a different output for that, but it won't be too much different to each other. Okay. So. We continue. Something we want to, we need to know. It is a good tip for having a, a good prompt. Is to use a strong verb and descriptive language. We need to make sure that we, we describe. We use some adjective when we say descriptive language. We want to use the adjective, okay, to describe what we want to. We want uh, we want to generate uh, the verb. The verb is also very important. We need also to focus on the benefits of the smartwatch, not just in the features, okay? Don't say, okay, uh, I want a, a, a generate for me a smartwatch, con a, a marketing content for a smartwatch that has, uh, uh, that can give me a notification uh, or that has, uh, how, how to call this, um, a given specific features. Don't necessarily say that. You, you can say that, but don't focus only on that. Provide the benefit also to that, add the benefit to, to your prompt. This is what we, the second bullet point is saying. Okay, tailor your content to the specific needs and interest of your target audience. All the time, you need to think about our target audience because they're our target. You, you, you want to reach them and you want to provide solution for them. So we need to provide in our prompt the specific needs that they are interested in. And uh, the first bullet point is saying to use AI tools like Gemini and Copilot to generate initial content and then refine it manually. Yeah, because you you want to save time, you want to to use uh, something that we trust. Yeah, we go for Gemini and Copilot. They are free. You can use them to generate a marketing content and then we will refine them because. 
we can we, we, we will make it by refining them we, we are personalize our output and we can use also some tone or some style that that are appropriate to our company so this thing we can do that manually and it's very important to revise manually after generating the the content experiment with the different formats such as blog posts social media posts videos and infographic you know for instance when you ask the the generative ai to generate a, a blog post for you it will provide something that is different from for instance when you say just provide a social media post or a video or infograph or maybe when even if you say blog post and after you use instagram blog a uh, instagram post they are all the, the it will provide you a different output so we need to experiment to experiment to experience all of them and see which one is good for us okay it is very important to play with those different formats we will see also the visual content creation so uh, we have seen so far how you can generate text and uh, when it comes to an image we can use uh, some generative ai like uh, maybe julie or dali or gemini copilot to create a unique and eye-catching visual for our marketing materials so uh here we have some an example this is a, an example of prompt create an image of a stylish smart watch pair with a, a, a smartphone and a smart home device so we want to create a visualize uh image here a visual con content so that the clients or the audience we, are, we want to reach can have an idea with what we are we, we want to sell to them okay uh in the second form generate an image of a smart watches that help tracking mil age mile age monitoring heart rate and optimizing recovery so let us see uh how the output of two different visual content so the first one when we are asking the the llm to use the stylized smart watch pair with a smartphone and smart and smart home devices this is the output we can see so we have some uh, devices in our house and with uh, the smart watch the smart watch and the smart watch are connected to all of them and it's giving an idea to the to the to our audience how we are we are, we are making our smart watch to control to be connected to our smart home devices the second output is this one where we are asking the llm or the generative ai to generate us a visual uh, content to highlight the mal age uh, to track our to to, to monitor uh, our heart rate and optimize the recovery so this is what we the ai has generated to us as uh, you can see on the on the uh, on the watch that we have for instance this this bar you show is is like a, a, a monitor so it's monitoring uh maybe it is the the hard work is monitoring like that okay uh so now let us see uh those examples so let us see the first one so in this example i use gemini to create uh, the the, the the first output so here uh, let, let, let me use uh, let, let me copy and paste the the prompt so that you can see together 
what it has generated or if it has generated if it is the same alignment with uh, what you have so it takes some seconds to analyze our prompt and then provide the output I will be copying the second one a time. It will give us an, an output. So here is uh, the, oh my gosh. Uh, I lost the, the page. I think it is here, okay? It is here. Don't no worry. You see, you see what you have provided us. So we can see basically that we have some devices in our in the in that image. We have the phone. We have maybe here it is. A, I don't know which device it is. Maybe some. So sorry. So basically, the image is telling us that we we have a, a smart house and the, our smart watch are connect, is connected to our home devices. Now, let us use the second prompt to see its output as well. So, uh, yeah. So this is what it has generated to us now. Yeah, something, and you can see that we have uh, a graph that is monitoring, maybe it is the, 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 the heart rate is monitoring here and, and tracking something, I don't know. So basically it's telling, it's telling us, it's speaking to us that yes, uh, basically this is what the smartwatch is capable to do the smart watch has as a functionality as the features okay now so now let's continue uh with the with the presentation so to to use uh, also to create a visual content creation we can also use some video editor uh, editors okay so and uh, we can consider the node code video editor like to like uh, Canva. Canva can help us to create a product demo, tutorial, social media videos, images, and so forth and so on. Okay, and we will see that very soon. <clears throat> so yeah, those are the outputs uh, that I have. Those points I generated. When I was creating the slides, the presentation. Yeah. Now let us talk a little bit uh, about code, no code tools for marketing. Because so far we are talking about the AI, how we can use AI to generate marketing content, and if it uh, if it should be a post a a test content or a visualized content. So now we will focus on the not code tools for marketing. So <clears throat> here we want to design a visual platform that can communicate, uh, <clears throat> that, we, that can communicate, okay, with our audience. And we want to use Instagram posts. And we can use Canvas to do that, okay, to, des to design, uh this kind of flight for uh, this kind of platform because before before uh posting something on instagram we need to have we need to design what we want to post okay so we can use canvas to to design that we can use a website building okay like a uh, uh, notion or wish as we have seen in the introduction so those platforms can help us to build an in like in five minutes or ten minutes a website that we can share with people. Okay, so we can create our website 
which is very important when we we will advertise our product. Even if we are using social media, social media is just a bridge between our audience and our website because our website will be our um, our online presence. Okay, we will use social media to to direct our some audience from social media to our website. So we can use a note, note code to to build a website. Okay. At the same time, you can use also email marketing. You can use, <clears throat> we can apply a platform like a, a MailChimp, uh, convert kit to design and send targeted email campaign to your, uh, to our subscriber. You know, when you have your, you have a, your subscriber emails and you want to keep in touch with them, you need to use those kind of tools in order to send to them some uh, some automatic uh some automatic emails and from those emails you will advertise your products this is what we mean by these bullet points so uh, social media management library tools like a buffer or uh, suits to schedule and manage your social media media content across different platforms yeah, we want also to to manage our social media, and those two can help us to to be able to do that easily without without hiring an expert to help us. So here we have uh, uh, some steps to assign AI and Canvas. We want to use AI and Canvas, and to to have this result, for instance, okay? So the first thing we need to do is to go to Canva. When you go to Canva, you will choose a poster or a blank page on Canva, and maybe you have already, you have generated our image from a generative AI. <clears throat> we will upload that generated image. Or uh, you can choose an image from Canva. Because Canva is, can help us to, to find our image. We just need to type a uh, smartwatch in the Canva search engine, and then it will show some results, and then we will choose the one we want. And uh, we can assign the generated text to our image. Don't forget that we have generated some marketing content by using some prompts. Then we, like this one we have here, so this, remember that we have generated this one, okay, using Gemini, okay? After you, you generate this one, the visual content, we generated also this test content, which is a post from Instagram. Then you go to Canvas and we put all of them together, okay? And uh, we can also design uh, on Canvas our, a website. So we will see that uh, together, how we can do those kind of things. <clears throat> so we we'll go to Canva, and we will follow all of these steps, okay? So here you are. Uh, in Canvas, and uh, you know, if you have never, uh, <clears throat> you didn't look, uh, you didn't uh, sign up to Canvas, you sign up to Canvas first, and to be able to have this uh, page. Okay, I have already signed up, and I I, I log into Canvas. Okay, now when you come here to the home page, then here. You come and uh, you 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 can if you want you can write a smartwatch smartwatch website for instance you see it has provided some smart uh, some some templates. 
but as you can see uh when you when you have this like uh, uh you have a way it is it is written through make sure that it will ask you to pay for this template so uh the the tip the tip you are going to use to to ask canvas to provide us a free website template is to add, just add here free website okay then it will provide us some free templates that we are we are going to use uh and for instance uh why is you bringing also some pro again i don't know why is he doing that okay um so what you need to do here is you choose uh, a given one okay it might be uh the one i used before maybe this no he's not is not uh no i'm i'm sorry uh let me go back okay let me go back and choose this should be for instance okay When your template is uh, it is written, customize this template. It means that uh, you have a free a free template that you can customize easily. Otherwise, it will ask it will ask you to to pay. Okay, so we are not here to pay for anything. So that's why we are going to use this one. <clears throat> So here, as you can see, you can provide here uh, the name of your company. You can change the name of the company and put it uh, digital. Digital strap. Smart my watch okay launching soon uh we are currently making some promo. so here you can we can you can tap here uh it it it, it is a uh, it is up to you how you want to design your website okay um Let's, are we going to write here? We can write, uh, um, or maybe we can write the name of the company here. Yeah, let's just like that. Digital. <clears throat> Smart. Smart watch. Okay. So um, you can say welcome, welcome to our our web page. Okay, you can say something like that, and here we can provide some link for um, our web page. So let me see how so this this is the, lo the logo. Okay. So what I want to do, for instance, is uh to create another page. Okay. 
we create another page. Uh, this page is link, and then when we click on when we create this new page, we are going to uh, add some text, add some features. So here we can talk as well about our 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 company. So we click on here to increase the the form. Okay. So that will be maybe our about. So we will write to describe uh, our company objective. Okay. And uh, we can create another uh, web page uh, where we we are going to use uh, our our um, our image uh, that we have generated and the the test we have generated. Okay, so uh, I did that before. So. You come here, okay, where it is written upload. You click on upload, okay. You wait a little bit, and as you can see here, I have some, I have I have already uploaded them here. So what I will do is to I will remove them so that we can do them from scratch, okay. I can remove them uh, so that I can <clears throat> from scratch. And we do that together. So I will ask, I will click on upload an image or video. So we can upload an image or a video. So we will wait a little bit. Okay. So here uh, we have, I will, I will, <clears throat> okay. You see, uh, it is downloading, it is downloading. Okay, finally, yeah. Then uh, I can copy and paste here. I can drag, I can drag it here. In this new page, okay. And then, <clears throat> I can add also my the the content we have generated so far. Okay, do you remember that content we have generated? So for that we can create uh, a new test and we put that new test here. Uh, we bring that new test here and then we will copy and paste what we we have generated as content. Uh, what it is. There is no here. Okay. Uh, okay. I just want to copy because I remember that okay here we have generated this one. So I want to copy uh, what we have generated here and then I will mm -hmm. we we'll go to Canva. We are here and then we can delete this one and paste this one. Okay. <clears throat> So this is uh, here, what I can do is 
ayırtı selebi de söyledi ya. Okay, good. Uh, so you 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 will do the way you you want. I'm showing you how you can put things together. Okay. <clears throat> so you can write. Uh, you can write also on the on this image the name of the company or add whatever you want. Uh, Victor Park as the bolt, okay. So you can you can put things together like that, okay. And uh, if there is something else you want to add, you can add. If there, if you have the, you have generated a video and you want to add, also you can add it. After you finish it, uh, creating your website, you can come here. Uh, you can click on publish the website. Okay, you can click on publish the website. Okay. Um, When you when you you come here, you can write. Uh, <clears throat> let us write uh, digital. What? Smart. Smart watch. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> no more issue. Uh, okay. Let us see to that. Yeah. So, and then <clears throat> we click on publish. Preparing your your design. Okay. So here is our our website link. You can copy it, and then you can view you can view our website. You see, this is the website we have generated. Okay, it is loading. So basically, because we didn't provide, we didn't uh, take time to. To write about okay and um, but you, you we provide those information so our our website is not yet great but i'm showing you how you can create your website basically by putting together things so you do not have you, you have seen yeah you can you have seen you, you didn't use any codes before creating this website and the link the link you can share the link with anybody if i put the link in the in the chat and you guys you click on the you click on meet now you will be able to you'll be able also to see the website okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> that is is it and uh, the final thing we we are going to mention because we are about to finish uh, the tutorial is uh, is now here where 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 I was in. okay good. So by working on generative AI and those code tools, please make sure to always customize what the AI is giving you as output, as uh, content 
okay? You guys need to realize that it is very important. It is very important and you need to personalize it so that people, because sometimes if you generate things with the AI, some people may notice that, yeah, it is generated by AI, but you don't want, we don't want people to know necessarily that we have generated something with the AI. So we need to customize, we need to personalize it. Okay, so <clears throat> we will do that by using <clears throat> our audience demographic interest and their behavior. Okay, it is very important to to know what the the our audience is, what is the need of our audience, and those information we can have those information through what through the research market. Okay. So this is what we we, we are. Uh, I'm going to say to to finish the the session um, because of the time. Otherwise, uh, I will show you something. That have you heard about Notion? Because I I I talk, I, I mentioned Notion in the <clears throat> in the uh, in the first pages about. Uh, I didn't provide anything, but who has heard, who have dealing with the notion before? Can you raise your hand quickly? Hello, guys. Okay. Um, I'm about to show to show you quickly how we can deal with the uh, uh, notion, okay? And then we can wrap up the session. So with notion, when you go to the website of notion, okay, uh, it, will, it, it, will, it will be something like that. So you have what we call team space. When you go to the team spaces, then you can create a new page, a, uh, I mean, you can create a new, uh, a new stem space. Okay, it might be. Uh, let us let us put uh, digital digital stripe smartwatch. Okay, and then I will give the description. So I will I will skip this one for the time being. I'll show you how, how to do that quickly. So when it is created, you can you can invite people to to work with you because do you remember I told you that one of the reasons why you want to use node code book, node code tools is because we can work with the people, we can collaborate with the people. Okay, so you come you click here. <clears throat> If, for instance, I will type, for instance, uh, a crumb, okay, or key root, you see, I can, I can, I can write the name of key root here, and um, uh, I can write the name of arrow maybe, okay. If I want those people to to work with me, no, this is not the uh, arrow. No. Let me see. Let me write you know, mallet, okay. So basically, so then you can invite those people. Let us assume that those people are in your team. So we can invite them. Then after inviting those people like that. But if you are you are working alone, you, you don't need to invite any, anyone. Okay. Let's assume that you are working with two people. So we have invited them. So and this is our what we call the land page. The landing page it is our first page. Okay, so we can click here. We can click here to provide an. Uh, it might be uh, an icon or image, whatever. So uh, I will use. I I will use this. I use this one to speed up. Okay, so this for the other 
uh, <clears throat> let us add the recover. Let us add the cover. We add the cover here. Okay. So here you can change the cover if you want. Okay. So after doing this, uh, you can even create a new. You, you can customize those things. Okay. The way you you sound. Let me show you something else. How to create another page? You can create another page by typing, for instance. Can tap here about, okay. Tap here about, and then you will describe your website, okay. Uh, okay. So here, for instance, if you want to to embed, okay, embed your website here, you use the functionality embed as a, I you use a slash embed, and then you will provide the link uh the link of the of the website you have created earlier where is it uh yeah we copy this link <clears throat> and then we will embed it here and we embed it okay so when we embed here, it doesn't it doesn't work. Okay, I I will show I will show you uh, another another way another way. You have seen here. When you, sorry. You see when we, we put share, we click on share. When we click on share, we provide you a link, okay? And that link you can use with anybody or you can have access alone. So we let us say that we want to use it with anyone who uh, anyone who has access. Then we copy this link. After copying this link, then we'll come here. Uh, you, you come you go to our notion and then we will embed uh let us remove what we have let, let us embed some uh, another things so we may i'm sorry we delete this one okay <clears throat> um let me say uh -huh. I will embed here. I will embed here the link of our website. Yeah, okay. So after embedding, you will see. It is loaded. You see? You will see. Uh, the the web the web page is lo is loaded here, so this is not the 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 direct website we have created, but it is the link to the website through uh, the canvas. So we use the look, uh, the canvas to to create to put you first of all you use AI to create content, uh, text content and visual content to. To marketing our product and then you come to canvas you put all of them together to create a website and we have published our website and uh, if you want to use notion to create our website because we can use also notion to create our website this is the way we will do and we can we can create a, a page we call about okay <clears throat> and here you can see that we have about here at the same time, if you click on about now, it will direct us to that page, and uh, you can you you will see your website, your the, the information of your website here, and you can add a lot of detail to make to to design a good website. Okay, so this is how uh, you can use uh, AI and Node tool, Node code tool to 
to do a marketing content for your uh, challenger, which is on how to, uh, to, to design and a content on smart watch, uh, how to advertise it on Instagram and other things. So that is it. Is there any any other question? Because we are at the end. If you have any other question, let me know. If not, we can wrap up the session. Hello, guys. Can you show me some reaction? Hello. If you are speaking, make sure that you are muted. Yeah. Mola. Yeah, you can speak. OK, thank you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. OK, I have one question. OK. Uh, so we create a digital smartwatch by using different AI models or tools, like ChatGPT uh, or Canva. So how to uh, combine together uh, to create or to get uh, one output? OK, all right. So. Um... I did it earlier. Uh, I will go back and show you again. Okay. So let us assume that we have already we have generated a, a content, a test content, and you have generated also a visual content. Okay. So what you need to do is to go to Canvas, and you go to Canvas. <coughs> When you go to Canvas and you want to create, for instance, let us assume that you want to create a website. So you go to the, uh, you go to the, the home page of Canvas. And you type a smartwatch website, or you can, you can type a website, a few web websites. Websites. Okay. So when you you then it will it will provide you many many templates, twenty thousand templates about websites. Now, if you want to to specify, a, <clears throat> you want Canva to provide you a website that are related to smart watch we can write here smart watch then you see the website now uh, has some uh, have now some smart uh, some smart watch on the uh, on, on the layout on the first layout okay so <clears throat> we will take one one that is free for instance, when you see you see the pro, it means that you will pay something. Let us click on the click on this, and you will see what it will. You see, uh, use this template. Uh, this template contain pay elements. Okay, but we do not want to pay anything, so we'll go for a free. So let us use for instance this one. Okay, <clears throat> it says here customize this template. 100% fully customizable. So we, we, you can use this one, okay? So when you click on this one, you can click on this one, it will look like this. Is It is loading. It, is, it, will, it will look like this. And based on your 
what you want to design as a website, you will start uh, you, you will start personalize it. For instance, uh, you can put here the name of your website. Okay, we can put here the name of our website and say that it is a digital digital uh, strap smart watch. Okay, you can do something like that, and uh, so. <clears throat> You can remove this, download the apps, you can remove this, and you can, uh, whatever you want, the way you want to design, you want to sound, it is here you can do that. If you want to add a test, for instance, in a new, let us, uh, I will create a new page to show you how you can add the test. If you want to add a test, you will click on here, you go to, to the right uh, to the left and you will see here it is a written test you click on test you click and then the test is appear and you write the test you want to you want to put on this page okay you do that if you want to upload a, a an image you come here where it is written upload okay and then you will upload an image here. We have uploaded one. You, when you click on upload here, it will direct you to your to your computer. To your, and then you can browse the image you want. And then the image will appear in Canva. And then you can select the image like that. And you can you can write what you want. Okay. And customize your test the image so this is how you put things together and if you have finished this one and everything is uh, is okay <clears throat> uh, like the one you did over there Make it public. If you want to use the link, okay, we can we can use the we can copy the link here. And if you want everyone to have access, you give access to everyone, anyone with the link. Then you copy the link here. But if you want to publish the website. So uh, you should you should have normally the an option here saying publish website. I don't know why you know. Um, I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think this template it is paired. Okay, this template you are using to paired. That's why it want us to pay before before having asset to publish. Okay. So uh, let us <clears throat> go back to what we, we have we have before, and then I will show you how we can publish. Okay. Like this, this is the one you, 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 you are about to create it and it is, a, I don't know why it is asking us to, to pay, but this one, okay? As I, sh I, I, I showed you earlier, you put things together, you add the test, okay? You add the test that you can, 
you can you can provide the about here you can add uh, some images you can use uh, the content that you want so that when people come to your website they can they can have the marketing content that is it. tell you us what you are what your product is about okay and you see here you have the functionality this will will, will be shown publish website and then you will click on this publish website when you click on publish website <clears throat> it will ask you to provide the name of your website okay and then you will provide the name here we have already published this but if you want to change the name you will edit the the link okay but you do not want so uh you provide the name and then you publish your website this and then you can share the link with people people can click on that and get access to your website so this is how you put things together mola is that clear uh, for your nice presentation i understand it okay do you have another question no it is clear okay uh if you have any question please reach out of us any of the tutors then we can provide the uh, the correct answer to you so that you can move on and do your assignment as they should so if there's no question anymore show me some times up and then we will wrap up the session 